This is the Environment and Sustainability Institute, the ESI. It's on the University of Exeter's Penryn campus in Cornwall. It's fairly new, quite shiny and very state-of-the-art. It's not a building you're likely to pass unless you're lost, or one you're likely to find yourself in unless you've got a specific reason to be here. Some people might ask, why do we need an ESI? What is it even for? Others might ask something similar. Why does Cornwall need an ESI? Answering these questions is as good a way as any to summarise what the ESI is all about. Start with something that Cornwall ought to be very good at. Think of the waves, wind and sun at our disposal, as well as the potential for geothermal energy deep beneath the ground. How can we make sure these kinds of alternatives to fossil fuels are as efficient and cheap as possible? If we're meant to reduce our carbon emissions by nearly a quarter by 2080, and we are at the minimum, these are questions we need to answer sooner rather than later. And even if we do manage to cut emissions, we're still going to be living with higher average temperatures, more extreme weather, wetter winters, and drier summers. So what's the effect of this, now and in the future, and on what we can and can't grow? Which species will and won't thrive? How can we best manage an agricultural economy that currently generates over £50 million every year? 2014's flood damage cost Cornwall Council £14 million, and it cost the South West as a whole ten times that. How can we create landscapes that work with nature to help avoid flooding's worst excesses? How can we help our coastal communities become more resilient to the likely rise in serious coastal flooding? A fast-growing population needs space for living, for transport, to produce food. So how do we meet those needs without exhausting our resources? Over a quarter of Cornwall is an area of outstanding natural beauty. Nearly two-thirds of us live in rural areas. This natural environment matters to our sense of place, of pride and of identity. But as we become more urbanised and more reliant on technology, how do we retain that meaning? And how do we keep a connection to the natural world, particularly for our children? The ESI researches clean technologies, living landscapes and people and sustainable communities. So, alongside our mathematicians, bioscientists, solar energy specialists and industrial chemists, you'll find social scientists interested in how humans behave and adapt to change. Our political scientists are discovering more about how and why we protest. Our ecologists research the spread of disease, the effects of artificial light, the decline of species and how changes in our oceans affect the life within them and the humans who depend upon them. The ESI also works with local businesses. If research highlights, for example, how electric vehicles can run for longer and more cheaply, what better way to put those findings to the test than in collaboration with a dynamic Cornish business? If experiments with pollinators point the way to increased yields for crop growers, why not show how the benefits really work, as it were, in the field? The ESI is not just a place where world-class academics attract millions of pounds of research funding, it's also where over 450 businesses have already been engaged, as well as being a focus for partnerships with creative artists, other universities, local stakeholders and peer researchers worldwide. Whatever else we may not currently know, what we do know for sure is that environmental change is happening, and happening at a rate we would never have predicted. We also know that the environment is not an abstract theory or an academic discipline. It's our world as we experience it every day. Our air, water and food. The plants and animals we need to thrive. The traffic we sit in, the beaches we visit, the homes we live in. Once we understand that this is our environment and this is what we're researching, then surely the question most worth asking is not, why is there an ESI? But why wouldn't there be an ESI? I'm Professor Kevin Gaston. I'm the Director of the Environment and Sustainability Institute. I lead a team of over 100 people dedicated to and passionate about finding world-class answers to some of the toughest questions humanity has ever faced. We're all very proud of the ESI, and we'd like you to feel proud of it too.